James got very conceited about it. You know, little Toby, he said one day, I'm an important engine now. Everybody knows it. They come in crowds to see me flash by. The heaviest train makes no difference. I'm as regular as clockwork. They all set their watches by me. Never late, always on time. That's me, says you, replied Toby cheekily. sent him to the works. His parts were worn, they clanked as he trundled along. He was enjoying his journey. He was a little engine, and his tanks didn't hold much water, so he often had to stop for a drink. He had small wheels too, but he couldn't go fast. Never mind, he thought. A signal will all know me. They'll give me plenty of time. But a new signal had come from one of the stations. Toby had wanted to take Henrietta. He wondered if Henrietta was lonely. Percy had promised to look after her, but Toby couldn't help worrying. He felt thirsty and tired. He had come a long way. He saw a distant signal. Good, he thought. Now I can have a nice drink and rest in a siding till James has gone by. Toby's driver thought so too. They stopped by the water crane. His fireman jumped out and put the hose in his tank. Toby was enjoying his drink when the signalman came up. Toby had never seen him before. No time for that, said the signalman. We must clear the road for the express. Right, said the driver. We'll wait in the siding. No good, said the signalman. It's full of trucks. You'll have to hurry to the next station. They've got plenty of room for you there. Poor Toby clanked sadly away. I must hurry. 
I must hurry, he panted. But hurrying used a lot of water. James, me, push Toby, and pull my train? Yes, you. Shut it. The driver, the farmer, the passengers, and the guard all said he was a bad engine. All right, all right, grumbled James. came up behind Toby and gave him a bump. Get on, you! Some little boys ran along the platform. Coo, said one. The express is late. A double header too. Do you know what I think? I think, he went on, that James couldn't pull the train, so Toby had to help him. Ha <laughs> ha, said James, and disappeared in a cloud of steam. <laughs> 